One of those goals was scored by Jordan Cairo, who is the surprise of the season. Anybody have Cairo second in points and goals when the year began? Tonight, in our Odd Couples Housing Spotlight story, Hannah Yates delves into the life of our town's newest hockey sensation and his off-ice roots that have played a big part in his success. Blues attacking, here's O'Reilly, Bortuzzo, and then Cairo, he scores! His first National Hockey League goal for Jordan Cairo. As one of the crown jewels of the St. Louis Blues prospect line, Jordan Cairo cracked the opening day roster in 2018, having to overcome on-ice hurdles and knee surgery. This season, he was placed on the team's taxi squad after training camp, but 2021 has been a different story. He's in a race, stole it, in the clear, shoots, he scores! What a play by Cairo! And Cairo's success isn't happening by chance, so where does it come from? His story is rooted in a family work ethic and special bond. It all began in Greece when his grandparents immigrated to Toronto in the 1960s. My parents met when they were going to learn English in English school, uh, you know, and the local night school there. And then um, eventually they, they found, you know, they separated after school, but they found their path together again. And then it just sort of evolved from there. And uh, my dad was a hardworking guy. He went into the restaurant business. Jordan's grandfather, John Cairo, was hired by former NHL defenseman Tim Horton himself at the original Tim Horton's restaurant to make donuts when he was 18 years old. Horton offered Cairo free tickets to Maple Leafs games, but John wasn't a fan of hockey just yet. That changed when his son, Aki, was born with a natural Canadian passion to play the game. John fell in love with watching his son play. He would cater banquets on the weekend and then drive throughout the night to attend Aki's games. So I was actually ended up playing AAA for the Toronto Red Wings. We won the All Ontarios. We ended up going to uh, the Air Canada Cup, it was called, where the top team from each province would play sort of, uh, you know, to see who would be crowned the best team in Canada. I scored a goal in that game, so that was... That's his claim to fame right there. That's my, that's <laughs> that's my highlight. Favorite, that's his big <laughs> hockey moment right there. You gotta tell yes. everyone that. Aki's hockey career ended when he settled down with his wife, Rola, years later. But little did they know, their firstborn son, Jordan, would be born with a gift. Not in the game. And then right off the draw, a little trick play. And that was Jordan Kairou of the Mississauga Senators. John continued traveling to all of his grandson's games across the country as well, until his passing in 2010. When I was a little kid, he kind of... Um... He used to come to a lot of my games in like Mississauga, like my minor hockey games, and he was like really supportive of, of me. You know, even if I had a bad game, he'd always tell me like, oh, you did great. Now Aki travels across Canada and the United States to watch his boys play hockey. And three things remain the same. The Cairo work ethic, shared support, and competitive mindset. It's not only hockey, it's just, I feel like everything. It's just, I'm always, I always compete like, you know, I'm a really competitive kid, I think. And, a lot of the yeah, things yeah. I do, I'm always competing at it. You know, I always want to be the best at whatever I do. So, and I think I kind of get that from my dad as well. The Cairo work ethic is paying off for Jordan and the St. Louis Blues this season. And although Aki can't be here in person to watch these games during the pandemic, he never misses a game online. And Jordan takes the ice with his dad in mind. He always uses the word tenacious. He's used that much. <laughs> I just want to be really tenacious on the puck. And, I think that's one where that's stuck with me. It's just always being tenacious, always trying to be like on the puck, like wherever it is. A father and son bond through three generations that's led to a career in the National Hockey League. You know, grinding in the basement, like a workout, you know, sometimes after games, you know, if I didn't play that well, my dad would be like, hey, get on the treadmill, you know, you gotta, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta get it back. So, yeah, I don't know, he's been there obviously with me through my whole life. And, you know, I def definitely wouldn't be where I am today without him, so. It's been awesome, you know, it's been an awesome journey and I can't wait to continue doing it with them. Hannah Yates, Five on Your Side.